All right, let's look at this uh, next one. Use the symbolic rule from part five, actually. Uh, so this guy right here, <clears throat> to find the perimeter <coughs> of the rectangle when the width is 11 and a half feet. So here we have the same type of information where this length is 12 more than the width, and the width now is 11 and a half feet. Well, let's use solely this, not the diagram, but solely this. That means to find the perimeter, we would um, simply input in for the right variable here, W, not P. P would represent the perimeter. W represents the width. And so now we have the perimeter in terms of W only. And so we can just insert the 11.5 there. And so that will be my perimeter. So just using the symbolic rule then. So I'm going to hit second mode or quit. That gets you back to a home screen, by the way. So 4 times 11 and a half added to 24. So that's 70. So 70 feet. Just using the perimeter alone. So we're asking you to do one of these in this um, activity or in this two activities here that you're going to read through. All right, part seven, use the symbolic rule from part five again to determine the dimensions of the rectangle if the perimeter is 112 feet. So we're going to backtrack using this symbolic rule here. And dimensions means, you may not realize this, but this means give me the length and the width of a rectangle that has this information here, 112 feet perimeter. So we're going to backtrack and use this symbolic rule in this fashion. We could find the width knowing the perimeter is 112. Once we find the width, then we can find the length if this length is going to still be um, 12 more than the width, which it is. So let's do it. So we're backtracking here to find what the width would be for a perimeter of 112. So hopefully you're thinking subtract 24 and divide by 4. So finish that off and see what you get for W and then take your W value and find the length and then you can just write your dimensions that way. So catch up with me in the next video.